Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up live from the Sorgatron Media Studio here in Pittsburgh, PA. Your Monday hangout here on Twitch and Facebook. Uh, and uh, we, we have a lot going on. Uh, not just Monday Night Raw. Some of us kind of sort of watched it. And also some of us watched other things uh, with me. First of all, the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. If I can get my switcher and all the buttons right is Mad Mike. Nope, that's, that's right. There he is, Mad Mike. Let me in. Whoa! I don't know. I just felt like I felt <laughs> I like think, channeling. I think your practice on the midweek war has gone a little too far. You know, I may have overcorrected. I was gonna. You know, has anybody seen Invader Zim on Netflix yet? Yes. No. Okay. Okay. You're the you're the dib that overcompensated. And now you now you have to go back to regular dib. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'll just assume I should just try it again. <laughs> yowie, wowie. Yes. Hold on, what what if I did the midweek war as the fiend? Oh, then I mean you won't be able Welcome to talk. Welcome to then you... the midweek war. Let us in. Good thing it's the last podcast of the week if we do it again. Also yeah, with us exactly. back on the couch, Nick Farah. What's up, everyone? Just off of a i pay per view announcing a gig with Angel Gate Wrestling. Yep. Yes, timing be damned, and also <laughs> making up new prices for the Indie Wrestling Network. I appreciate that. Anytime. Thank you for upselling it. Whoops, I hit colors. You're yellow for a second. I mean, it's better than being orange, right? Yeah, that, I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> orange, you're glad Jeez. I didn't say banana. And you heard the voice there in the background from the uh, Pacific Northwest joining us, Tina Keys, with a special report we're going to talk about a little later in the show. You, you got to see some wrestling. Yes, I certainly did. I got to see some uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, on Thursday night, actually. Fantastic. Um, I can't wait to hear about that. And, uh, of course, uh, so, so actually, we'll, we'll kind of kick off here to, to begin with. Uh, so, so I mean, what was our, our kind of awesome wrestling of the weekend? Um, I survived an Angel Gate Eye pay-per-view. I say survived because I realized a half hour before the show that something was very, very wrong with our stream. Uh, so uh, I had some audio issues uh, going out that we didn't know until we started streaming. And it took me about a half an hour just in time for the live Eye pay-per-view to get that going. But we got it out and, and, and it worked. And then and then we had to watch uh, Nick dance in the middle of the ring for five minutes. You know, for, <laughs> I, I got some moves. I'm not going to lie. I think my favorite thing of the weekend was watching a happy hour dance to try to entertain the crowd. You know what? I, I, I honestly think that it was enjoyable for them. As yes. awkward as it was at first, it was definitely enjoyable. <laughs> um, I learned some new dance moves. Uh huh. And then uh, I got to see a Beast Man impersonation. There did, was. Did, I, I, did you play the Carmella dance break song? Because that would that would have made things go a lot smoother. Get the lights going and everything. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. We should have told Riz to cue that up. Oh, that uh, Riz was on music. Riz was doing lights, music, and he rang the bell all night. Well, you know, the, the wow. problem mm-hmm. with the whole dance Triple off threat. is when you don't have a butt and you don't, you know, you, there's no twerking. I Our have truth to... doesn't have a butt. Come on now. Okay, but I was born with no acetone. It's called back butt. Yeah, but you, you can you can floss. You don't need a butt to floss. Okay, I can't floss either. I don't need a butt to floss. I think that's the hot tip of tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hashtag. I was like, that might be the, the title for tonight, actually. Hashtag no butt to floss. Hashtag no butt to floss. Hashtag no floss. You can floss, too. You know what? Um, just since you know it's right after Raw, I'm just going to throw this out there. Um, I was disappointed that we didn't have hashtag Natty Two Slings. Natty Two Slings? Yes. <laughs> I was so upset. I, it it would have been great. Yeah. It would have been great. Mike, what is your uh, awesome wrestling that's maybe not Raw for this week? Uh, I saw Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Yo, that counts. That counts. Yeah, I know it does. Yeah, you sort. You don't have to tell me what counts. Mm-hmm. I know what counts. <laughs> what did you say? You were you were watching it as if you were logging it. I yes. And there was a Samoan drop. There was an ooh and there was a spear, and it was delightful. And there was a people's eyebrow. There was. Hmm. 
There was a people. To the point. There, it was all over the place, Sorg. It was. It was... And, all right. So the best thing. The best thing. Hold on. Do I need to do the Avenger spoilers? Hold on. No, a second. no, 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 no. If you haven't no, seen Hobbs so, and Shaw. All right. Well, no one cares about spoilers for Hobbs and Shaw. They I mean, spoiled can... Game of Thrones for fuck's sake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, when The Rock is talking to his brother, um, my fiance goes, is that Samoa Joe on the phone? And I'm like, no, but that would be amazing. <laughs> and I, and ironically, he's the only Samoan not related to The Rock. Say, you know yeah. not all Samoans are related, right? But mo- all just, the ones in wrestling are. Almost all the ones in wrestling. Just are. about all the ones in wrestling are related. Well, the problem is our 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 worldview of Samoa is via pro wrestling, and it's just true. It, based on that yeah. worldview, there's like all these related Samoans and one ostracized one who who like, identifies as Samoa. Like Joe. specifically, <laughs> like he had to put Samoa in his name so you'll believe that he's, he's like, from he's Samoa. Like, Hi, I'm Samoa, but not that Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's from the other territory, Samoa. Yeah, like uh, like and, I'm and ginger. We ju- and we just got past the point where we've not really adhered to the stereotypes that were done in the 80s and 90s mm-hmm. where you can't headbutt Samoans. Guess what? We can headbutt Samoans now. You it's gonna see... be okay. They a... don't have harder heads than anyone than other people. Do. It's a it's a different era. I mean, it's 2019. Yeah. We can headbutt Samoans, right? We're seeing Samoans <laughs> headbutting Samoans now. Sorg, there's your show title. It's 2019. We can headbutt Samoans again. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> Tina, you had some. Fun. <laughs> Tina, you got to see some New Japan in uh, in uh, up there, and I and I, I so both you and Alex got to see New Japan shows this weekend, and neither of yeah. you were in Japan. No. Um, this weekend, the New Japan Pro Wrestling had their Super J Cup, and they spanned it over three cities over three days. I got to see the opening round um, just outside where I live, at, about an hour away south in Tacoma. And I believe Alex, down in Long Beach, mm-hmm. just Saturday, he got to see the finals of it. Nice. Nice. So, so I, I I saw your pictures. I, I'm not sure if I saw his on there, but he has a little bit of a report in the chat room as well. Um. So, I mean, you know, how was the how was the feel of it? Did, did it feel like a New Japan show, or you know, it felt it really felt like a New Japan show. It was. I loved it as much as I wanted to take pictures of it. Just the action was way too fast. Mm-hmm. Like every match was like boom, 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 boom. Like the main event ended at like nine forty five and. Will Ospreay like spoke like maybe like ten minutes afterwards, it, but it was great. Um, I just wish it was on New Japan World a lot sooner so you guys can see it, especially that Will Ospreay amazing red match. Oh, so that's on a little bit, it's, yeah, because they usually stream these things, right? Right, usually, but I don't, I don't know what the logistics are. Mm. Um, that amazing, it, it was just like bell to bell. It was just super awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't do my I can't do the review of the main event justice. I would say if you listen to Brian Alvarez and his report on it, yeah. I would recommend that one. But I love like every single match of it. Uh, let's see, El Fantasmo is a dick. <laughs> uh, oh, the, oh, so the standard review of El Fantasmo. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I love the oh gosh, the Jushin Liger six man tag that he was a part of. Um, and actually there's an interesting thing about the show that on the defy show on the next night, which was interesting too, that I didn't get a chance to see. Oh uh, gosh. Um, Cause TJ Liger's, Perkins not, Liger's not his retirement tour, right? Correct. Yeah. I thought so. Okay. That's um, cool. You got to see him before he retired. Yeah. That's and it's awesome. interesting though, too, because the next night he was in um, a six man tag match for defy. And one of his opponents, was Brian Pillman Jr. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so I, it was kind of like oh, it was kind of like 24 to 25 years later from when Jushin wrestled Brian Pillman. I, I wonder if that's going to be his Wrestle Kingdom opponent. Ooh. Yeah. Like his last match. Oh, that'd be so cool. Man. That'd be so fucking cool. And Pillman's yeah. awesome. Like, we've had him around here. I've, I've talked to him a little bit in Cleveland. 
uh, around World Pro Wrestling and everything. And uh, yeah, no, that's that's awesome that he's getting that. Because I, I mean, I think it, it, I get the vibe that like the dude just really appreciates like stuff that he's you know taking so long to get into and, he, and was trying to get into it the right way, you know. Um, but good for him. Yeah, I can't say. Oh gosh, the matches like bell to bell, like Taguchi versus Jonathan Gresham was awesome. Mm-hmm. TJ Perkins versus um, Clark Connors, who was a local wrestler here in the area, mm-hmm. and then he just he's a he's a young boy for New Japan now, and just like the pop for him was insane. Awesome. Uh, Dragon Lee versus Yo Show against um, Ishimori, and again, I there's Brian Alvarez said what all needed to be said about the um, Will Ospreay Amazing Red match. Like everybody was on their feet. There was like a thousand people in, in like the little, in the theater. It was just amazing. Uh, we have a little bit of review of the Long Beach show, which you said was the final. So it'll be the next night after yours. Uh, he said, um, actually there was um, uh, San Francisco was just right after mine. Oh, and okay. Then Long Beach. Okay. So there's, there's a night in between. Um, he said Dragon Lee was way over with the crowd in Long Beach. Same with uh, Taguchi, Christico, uh, who's uh, the, the original Mystico in Sin Cara, I believe, uh, was yeah. great as a Rudo in his match against Dragon Lee Grudo, the uh, kind of more heel rule breaker character, as uh, in Japanese terms. Also, Christico uh, had also wrestled directly across the street from here for that Lucha show, like like last year. Um, and uh, let's see, it ends my quick thoughts. Uh, he had some other stuff in here. Uh, he, he, he was uh, completely shocked by ELP beating Osprey. Who's ELP? El Fantasma. Oh, 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 the dick. Yes, the dick. <laughs> oh, the dick. Uh, he had brought a friend of his to see the who, who hasn't seen much wrestling and he loved it. He was especially happy that it because it was junior heavyweights focused, so there was a lot of high flying. Oh, yes. Um, so he, it looks like he had it. Uh, everybody hated El Fantasmo for winning the cup, and they tried to stop Jay White from talking after BC versus uh, uh, Jushin. Wait, LIJ? BC versus LIJ? Can I get a translation? Uh, Bullet Club versus, um, Link. oh gosh. Los, Los Ingrunables. Uh, yes. that's, that's as close as I'm getting. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. That's a, so 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 basically, if we hop on the New Japan World in the next uh, week or so, uh, we need to spot a Tina. Uh, we need to spot I, an Alex. I don't think you. Not until set. Yeah, not until like next month. Really? I'm not sure when they'll put it on. Yeah. <laughs> Man. But uh, I'm not sure. I I was like in the back corner, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see me. <laughs> no, you'll be you'd be surprised. I once found myself in a magazine at a, a JCW gathering event, just like in the crowd behind Vampiro. It was very weird. Uh, so you never know. You never know. They have HD cameras these days. Uh, so True. awesome. <laughs> uh, so go check that out. Uh, I love that. I I, I mean, I, but we've seen New Japan as far as part of like the Worlds Collide tours that they do with Ring of Honor when that was. I, I think mm-hmm. those are still happening, right? Like it's usually about this time. Kinda, of year. yeah. Kinda, like kinda they, sort of, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they're separating from that a little bit. Um, I, I think I think most of the appeal of that was the Bullet Club. It was. It was. So we'll see. Because, I mean, because you could bring those guys in and cut promos in English on the Ring of Honor show. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I'm not sure. But they haven't had a, like, proper, like, New Japan Ring of Honor show since the MSG show, right? No. No. I, yeah. It, it, you, well, you wonder about that because, like, who would they bring that, that that's important? I mean, Ju- I think uh, Ju- Juice Robinson has been uh, pretty prominent on Ring of Honor still. Uh, I, I mean, Coda. You got Coda. Coda, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, I think, you know, there's still an appeal there. So, I, I can see them still doing it, but definitely not as hot as, as you know, peak Bullet Club pre-AEW, right? Yeah. Like, it was it was right. insane when they were here in Pittsburgh. Like, they, they packed them into stage AEW. And here. plus, now that we're getting closer to the live uh, AEW stuff, yeah, who, who knows who's going to be available? Uh, we know, I guess. Yeah, not- I think it seems that, like, at least lately, at least in our area, that New Japan has been like fostering relationships with the independents, like Defy mm-hmm. Wrestling out here. Um, I want to say, actually, it was just last month we saw um, Tama Tonga from the Bullet Club out here. Good night. And Juice Robinson was actually out here too um, for the Defy show the next night after New Japan as well. 
That's awesome. Uh, it's good to see them doing those inroads and, and the stuff like they did with uh, with Dallas. Did Dallas happened, or was Dallas? Or is that Dallas kind of, happened? Yeah, Dallas did happen. I can't remember. Yeah, what that, that was the was. first night of the G one. Okay, it, it, right, and that's where Moxley couldn't wrestle on it. So, oh. well, no, contractually. Yeah, couldn't. I know, I know, and yeah. unfortunately, he's got an injury, so oh, we're not gonna see him for a that. Bit. That hurts. Uh, local that focus, hurts. AEW, of course. Uh, tickets went on sale for here, and I believe Charleston, West Virginia, um, mm-hmm. a few hours away. Uh, for uh, late October, uh, that went on sale noon Friday, and I understand a lot of people like uh, 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 Jen Carlins was our MVP uh, and got a few of us tickets. Uh, but uh, I know I know cameraman Rob was having problems getting into it, so uh, not sold out. Bo, Bo Diggity was having problems. Bo too. Diggity was having problems for sure. And I think I think Nick, you were looking. Were you looking at the the the, the site earlier? And we we're looking at like thirteen hundred dollar tickets, or but no, somebody else was looking at it. No, and I they, was just looking at the uh, the ones for the Peterson Event Center. And yeah, um, a buddy of mine actually was looking at them for me. And I mean, the, the prices aren't bad. The prices are not bad for tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, once that sells out, I, I I can't wait to see what people are putting them. Oh, on. second markets get second markets already ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. So you said you, you found front row tickets for thirteen hundred dollars. They were they topped out at ninety dollars for this thing if you bought them day of. Mm-hmm. So I, I you know so th- you see at least the expectation is somebody going to buy them for thirteen hundred dollars? God, I hope not. <laughs> but uh, but but at least like that that they're being yeah like up. maybe if it was the tag team championship finals yeah yeah <laughs> I, I think I'm kidding, it's just, I'm well, kidding. Well, no one should spend thirteen hundred dollars for a TV taping no 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 definitely no. Not, nobody should it's just spend one that. of those things it's 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 new and it's shiny and oh yeah everyone wants to be you know I was In at the first level. show that they did at Pittsburgh or, or Charleston or New York or wherever I don't know if they're gonna run New York to be honest. Mm. I don't know if they do. My ass is gonna try and get tickets. I'm Hell not gonna yeah. lie about that, but maybe they'll head I, up to Poughkeepsie. I have a feeling. No, they won't run in Poughkeepsie. I have a feeling NXT will run up here before AEW does. Mm-hmm. As long as they, it looks like the way that they're doing, they're probably just working their way down south, and then, and then for, an, for another big around. show like around uh, Jacksonville, probably. Um, you're talking NXT for TV taping, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because do we have any idea what NXT's? I this is kind of more discussion maybe for Wednesday, but um, like like NXT that we're aware of is still starting at full sale, right? Like where they are. Not oh yeah, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so. in the press release. They're starting at full sale. Okay. I don't know how long they're going to stay at full sale mm-hmm. because that crowd can only see so many live shows. I think. yeah, I mean think about with the weekly program live with Impact Wrestling right in Orlando, also in Orlando, right? Uh, it gets a little wearing after a while and seeing the same people and, you know, can it keep people coming in from the same area mm-hmm. no matter how good the show is, right? Well, they've been running on a network for how long at Full sale? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they also do multiple tapings. They do multiple for, tapings, for but then they'll, like... Like, do... like you have you have people come in for a two-hour show and then you send them on their merry way. Mm-hmm. Are they going to want to come back next week? That's debatable. And then they're going to do smaller venue shows, like they, they've done ones from Cleveland. Look, what looked like a, a, a place. I think I think it's the Agora Ballroom actually, which would be I guess roughly comparable to Stage AE, if not a little smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, these weird concert venues, and they would do tapings there. But then they'll do like probably comparable to Peterson Event Center that uh, that uh, uh, AEW's uh, doing uh, in like San Jose or something, right? Um, so. It's still there. Well, they do house shows. They do house shows. Yeah, they do house shows for sure. Yeah. You know, in, again, in those stage AEs and stuff, and just sometimes they do tape them for for TV. Mm-hmm. Um, so so they have that. I don't think they're going to be doing that anymore, though. No, no, no. I no. think it's good. I think I think the house show loops are going to be strictly house shows and people who aren't ready for the live show yet. Right, right. It'll be interesting. It'll be inter- well, yeah, and, and hopefully they still have the like the uh, the Florida Armory loop. So I'm hoping they do. I'm, I'm going to be going to Lakeland early March, and I hope there's a, a show so I can find out who's, who's coming Who knows, in. Sorg? You may you even know. be able to get to a live taping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Um, wear, your, wear your Mayhem show shirt. Yeah, that is true. Well, no, I won't be. A, well, I'll have to look at my schedule. Maybe I can get there because they're doing Wednesday nights. Okay. All right. All right. No, no that's actually possible. That's actually got completely yeah. possible. You mm. know what we should do? We should make a midweek war shirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, we should. Yes, we and, should. And, and we'll find out what day you're going to be what at was... NXT. We'll send someone to AEW. Mm-hmm. We'll both sit front row. And we'll do a live <laughs> podcast from each show. On Every Facebook segment, live. you just give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Yeah. yeah like so, Gladiator. So you're going to be the ones to buy that $1,300 ticket? Sure. Depends on how Patreon goes. And you can support us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Get your plugs. Just sword. like Tina. <laughs> so Although I should I should be able to up my uh membership to get a little bit more uh management benefits out oh, of it. Oh oh, oh it, it, are you are it, is the attraction of warding around Ronnie Sarks uh, uh, appealing to you? Yes it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Y'all just Tina, love I was bullying say, gingers. Tina, Tina, if you just want me to order around Ronnie Starks, just tell me privately what you want me to make him do, and I'll make him do it. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I have you know it's okay. You know, it's okay. That's okay, Mike. I would like as much as I would like somebody else to do it. I'm I'm much better at ordering around. That's fair. That's right. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. She's a hands-on type <laughs> of patroner, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh. As as seen before on the uh, Mayhem Mania, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, By the way, I, I I had an idea. Uh oh. And I, I had an idea, and I was thinking about this. What if we did a second Mayhem Mania, but we did it around Halloween? We can't and let. You can, Ma- and you can and you can only book dead wrestlers. Oh, oh. First of all, Mainstream Matt cannot do it because then he will be the dead one by the time it, we get it'd the be, it'd be a much It'd be a much smaller one, like a four-week thing for the four weeks of October. Okay, okay. But but we call it like zombie mayhem mania. <laughs> so it's like all undead versions of wrestlers who have passed the on. pop up in the chat and say no. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it'd be fun. See we don't have to. We don't have to make it as complicated. Like, seri- as Mayhem like, Mania. You realize, like, like Mad After Mayhem Mania looks exactly the same way as Mad After Squeak Squeak. Well, that's a, that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, did you know there was wrestling tonight? <laughs> what? Did, did you know there was what? a wrestling was? show tonight, or something that pre- that pre- that? Makes claims to be a wrestling show. I know there was a lot of bad decisions made. Tonight. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, Monday Night Raw was tonight. Uh, we we kind of watched it while we just talked about Pittsburgh wrestling here in the studio. Uh, I, but I watched the whole thing. You watched the whole thing and talked about. I beers. was I was going back and forth between that and the, and the VMAs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, wait, wait. Let's, let's take. Let's roll that back a minute. Um. Um. VMAs versus Raw. Um, which one was, uh, uh, which one deserves the moon man? Ooh. VMAs. Liz, Lizzo and mm-hmm. Elliot getting the video Vanguard award. Okay. Just saying. Mm. Yeah. She's got a point. <laughs> Get your freak on. I don't think I've watched the VMAs in like 10 years. I know people who were at the VMAs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last time I watched was the was the Justin Timberlake video Vanguard Award with the little mini in sync tribute. I was a happy sixteen year old for a few excellent. minutes. Excellent, <laughs> and, and it all comes around. Mm-hmm. Gotta love yes. some Joey Fat one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call. And I, I, I know that I know that's not how you pronounce God his name. Awesome. I don't give a shit. <laughs> By the way, Joey Fat One was also Samoa Joe's high school name. Oh, he's, he's dying. Breathe. Breathe, Tina. Get a paper bag. Hands Breathe. Up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay. Okay. Hashtag Samoa Joey Fat One. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! So let, let's That's talk. Let's hashtag. talk about Raw. Let's talk about Raw. Um, the King of the Ring matches oh, were very good. Mom, are you laughing or crying? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, are you laughing? I can't tell. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> Is Junior checking on you? <laughs> Junior's checking on. And you know what? You can actually tell him that joke because I didn't curse. There you go. <laughs> I could, yeah. Yeah, you can tell I them that joke. I still don't think that's rated PG. <laughs> <laughs> Just I saying. mean, it, de- it depends on how you take it. 
Is there more than one way you can take Joey Fat One? There's definitely more than one way you can oh, take yeah, Joey Fat One. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. Wow. Wow. The, wow. There's three ways you can take Joey Fat One. <laughs> now, see, that part you can't. Now it's there. over the line. Now it's over yeah, the line. Yeah, now that part. I can't. TVMA, here we come. Just, just, just like TNA, we've crossed the line. Mm. Oh, you brought it back there. Oh, I did. Uh, I did. Brought I brought it brought back. So, the King of the Ring was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Mike. I, I've only missed one pick so far, Sorg. Oh, yeah? I've only missed one yeah, pick so far. Are you ready for King Bray? What? Not Bray. You, you, uh, you, what is his Baron? name? No, it's Baron. not Baron. <laughs> Baron. I'm King you, Baron. I'm telling you, Ray Andrade. It's going to happen. Ray Andrade. Ray Andrade, King Andrade versus Ray Mysterio. It's mm. gonna happen. I'm King Ricochet, you. going King Ricochet. No, he's losing to Joey Fat One. I I could have gone with Samoan Joseph, <laughs> or or The Rock's cousin in Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Um, damn it. Yeah, so we had the King of the Ring. King of the Ring, yeah. It's nice because there's something for people to fight for. Yeah, and Drew Drew completely, like, Drew is obviously not a hockey fan. Okay. Because he he went and grabbed all the kingly stuff. I'm like, you just ensured you're not going to win, Drew. Mm Yeah. And not just because you'd be matched up against another heel next week. (laughs) You never touch the Stanley Cup before you win it. Mm-mm. Exactly. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You, you can you can touch the uh the um oh the consmith no just I forget. Don't touch Joey's fat one. Yeah, yeah. Just don't, you... just don't touch Joey's fat one. No. Um. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you, you can't you can't touch the prize until you won it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I wonder if that's going to happen to Baron too because he did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Hell, he already cut his King of the Wing winning promo, so that tells me he's not winning it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I do love so. We questioned it when it first happened, but the wardrobe change did happen officially. Yeah. He took oh, yeah, the it shirt happened, off it happened last week. He took the shirt off in the middle of the match, and it carried over to the next week. Yeah, he's wearing Dean Ambrose's gear now. Well, you know he's not using it, and definitely not now. Yeah, maybe they'll just give him. You know, he doesn't have to worry about his flair. And uh, and and they're just gonna give him all of his old promos. Although I saw um, someone took a an image grab of him on the crown with the on him on on him on the throne on the with the crown, and it's like when you got fired from TGI Fridays only to go work at Medieval Times. Mm. <laughs> the the line that will always stick with me with him is everyone's least favorite substitute teacher. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> if that wasn't perfect on, for him at the fair, time, everyone's least favorite substitute gym teacher. Because those who can't Let's... do teach and those who can't teach teach gym. Yes, hmm. exactly. Hmm. No offense to any gym teachers out there. Oh no, I I full offense. Look at me. Come on. Full offense. You failed. <laughs> um, <laughs> you failed me. <laughs> Uh boy. You can uh, dodge a wrench. You can dodge a Joey fat one. <laughs> How about the uh, one? Jeez. What about the one night uh, uh, coming up of uh, 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 Dolph Ziggler and uh, and Bobby Roode? Oh, God, fuck Which, this. Uh, uh, no? no. All right. Uh, no. I, all right. Hold on. I, I have a fundamental problem with this. Okay. We get an announcement. From the Street Profits. Yes. That there is an eight team tag team turmoil. Yes. Yet the Street Profits are not one of the fucking teams. Well, because they're hanging they're out on NXT. Even angry about it. They gotta defend they gotta defend their NXT championships on Wednesday nights coming up. And that, that's, Sor- that... Sorg, Sorg, were they wearing them? I don't remember. Spoilers. No. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Somebody didn't watch the tape. Didn't watch the taping reports. Oh no! Somebody call my mama. Mm. But but even still, even still, they're not angry 
mm-hmm. about not being in that. Okay. At the very least, they should be angry that a random makeshift tag team is in there and two, count them, two teams from SmackDown. Doesn't that go back to the whole thing of uh, NXT needs to stay NXT, though? They're not NXT. They're not? They've been on Raw for a month and a half. Yeah, but they're representing NXT. No, they're not. Well, they had been. I don't think they are. They were coming out. I mean, they were on screen with the titles for, what was that, like three weeks? Yeah, Yeah, but but their graphics say Raw. Mm. They're they're lower third graphics, which do count. They say Raw. Okay. To make an argument, it's like kind of like the lesser like thing of what happened with Kevin Owens before he dropped the NXT title. Yeah, but Kevin Owens came out with the title and wrestled. True. That's true. Well, they they came out and did three profits things. So, I mean, they no, yeah. they've never left the backstage area so. No, they're just hanging out with catering. I mean, they know what the deal is. Um, you probably want What's the next what's the next big what's the next one out of the Big Four Survivor series? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you probably won't see them until like that whole like tag team thing. But that's Maybe. after the switch, no, right? I... Uh, that's yeah. after the switch. It is after, yeah. So yeah. we should have the draft. Then the well, is it going to go draft switch and then? I don't even know Survivor Series. It. I don't even know if we're getting a draft. I don't know. We I got a, we got the SmackDown draft. Women's Champion again tonight on Raw. Yeah. So I don't know what I was saying. Somebody, somebody earlier. I was. I think I was the other night at, at Angel Gate. I was like, if they do a draft in the next like three months, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I wonder why Becky wasn't on Raw tonight. Uh, but she was on road that trip. Was... Rollins was on Raw. Uh, they said Rollins wasn't there tonight. Did he? He was. Was he on and left or something? Rollins had a backstage promo. Of Braun. He yeah. had a backstage, but they said during. Was... Good. I think that was more like a pre-tape. Yeah, I, I feel. Yeah, like... but he was still there. Yeah. Or they, they, don't, they don't do. They don't do that stuff on because they days. were they were putting that over that he wasn't there that night, uh, during the main event. Really. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, sw- they did. I okay. swear That's I heard that. Odd. That's very odd. Okay. So I don't know if it's a, it was like last week or something like that, but um, okay, like maybe, maybe that was it. maybe that was, maybe I missed it. it. Was like a dot com exclusive or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it looked like to be a, a dot com exclusive. Okay, so maybe Becky and Seth were celebrating their engagement. Could be, mm-hmm. could be. Um, well, we'll see. Okay. By the way, congratulations to Peyton Royce who got married. Oh, there was another wedding, uh, rumored wedding too, unless that goes gets out. But. Finn Balor. Mm-hmm. Ah, did he marry the I, fiend? I, <laughs> what did did she let him in? Wait, what? <laughs> did they do the yowie wowie? <laughs> oh my god! Are they oh. having their honeymoon at the Firefly Funhouse? Wait, did anybody catch the tweet from Drake Maverick about Becky and Seth's engagement? Oh my no. god. Yeah, I did. I'm still trying to figure out who Finn married. <laughs> the Fiend. Yeah. No. Yowie Wowie. <laughs> no, and now from now on, Robert. the Yowie Wowie is definitely a sexual term. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't already, jeez. <laughs> all right, we gotta clean some stuff here. First of all, what's a Drake Maverick tweet that we're trying to talk about? <laughs> I do you know do you remember what it was? Uh, it was something it was something about he told his wife that Becky and Seth got married and his wife said make sure they don't ask you for marital advice. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of her like one I thought she was a performance center girl and I think she was, but she's like accepting bookings, like indie bookings on her Twitter um, now. I don't think she's a performance center girl. I think she was she was in the one of the May Young Classics. Okay. I don't think she was this never up, signed. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was in this, um, the one that happened last year. So they yeah, pretty she much wasn't just, ever signed though. So they pretty much just brought her in for for this segment, and that was it. Well, yeah. Notice she's gone mm-hmm. from it now. Like they like because they knew Drake was getting married, so they wanted to, you know, show the twenty four seven stuff can happen anywhere. Mm-hmm. By the way, guarantee the twenty four seven championship changes place at the halftime of a football game. I would love that. I guarantee oh. it. I guarantee Terry Bradshaw 
will become the 24-7 champion. <laughs> Terry oh. Bradshaw. I'm, Terry Bradshaw, I'm thinking Howie Long, but that's just me. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. I, I don't know. Oh, I've seen, of that, it did I've seen Broken Arrow. Howie Long's acting, not the greatest. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Not the greatest. But they did have a Fox broadcaster just briefly hold it. Mm-hmm. But he was he was a college guy. No one else did. <coughs> yeah. so, wow. Wow. Jeez. Kind of harsh. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, th- I think if they eventually just start taking the 24-7 championship across multiple platforms, like you're just sitting here watching the Big Bang Theory one day, and all of a sudden it's just like our truth runs across the screen holding the title, <laughs> and then all of a sudden oh, you just never no. see it again. But it's going to be Fox shows. Yeah, it's yes. got the yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Tim Allen, Tim Allen, last man standing. The Simpsons. So, sorry, Tina. Oh. Tina, what was Tina saying? An animated defense of the twenty four seven title on the Simpsons. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I don't know if the Simpsons are staying on Fox. What? They've Disney been there Plus. for how long? But Disney yeah, they Plus. bought them, but still, like they still have the TV oh, yeah, deals I, I and guess, everything. I guess they'd still be there. Oh no, no, the, no, 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 no! Fox, God. Fox, the guys... ne- Fox, the network is not Disney, but it's still like the studio. It, it, the studios are detached from it, and they kind of were anyways. So, hmm. so I don't think you have to worry about guys, Simpsons going away. I have, I have six words that's going to change everyone's life. Hmm. Are you ready for this? Twenty-four-seven hmm? champion Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> Our truth, I'm calling it now. Our truth is going to be a guest on in Hell's Kitchen. He's going to have the title, and then while like the distraction for the teams is that someone is like Drake Maverick is going to run in with a referee. They're going to slip on some food, and Gordon Ramsay's going to fall on top of our truth and become the 24/7 champion. Hmm. hmm. And then he says, I'm going to fucking roll. Get it? And that's how we bring back the guest guest uh, uh, GMs again. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Oh, Gordon Ramsay, guest GM of Raw. By the way, Alex Miller in the chat room. October 7th, when I go to Raw, I'll look for a sign that is uh, Kyle O'Reilly's guitar. Um, Alex, isn't that just holding up air? Yes, I think that's a joke. I think that's where okay. we're at. Okay, I was just making sure. So, <laughs> just making sure. All right. Anything else from Raw uh, tonight? Oh, oh, God. The terrible, awful, no good, very bad decision <laughs> to have the OC and the War and the Viking Raiders fight to a double DQ. Is that really horrible? Yes. Why put them in the match if you're not going to put either of them over? Because they're whoa 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 it, it's 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 hey they're the strongest ones hey any of these guys can run rough shot over this entire sword thing. they're also the dumbest ones now <laughs> they're also the dumbest ones well now. the the raiders are just guys that beat up beat beat you up so you you have exactly, nothing about which that which is why they needed to win yeah but they, haven't they had needed to win match. stuff. But we didn't want them. We didn't want. It, it's the perfect thing to, to say. Hey, we didn't want them to run rough shot over everything, and we don't want the OC to lose again because they're we're trying to make them strong again. So Sorry, they both lost. Yeah, well, they both and 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 the OC got squashed by Braun by himself at the end of the show. There's that too. Speaking so of, like, just but, don't put them in there. But Braun flips trucks. <laughs> but don't put them in then if you're like. You can put one team over the other. Uh You can. You can. And then you know what? You have like you have the Viking Raiders beat the OC. Since they're gonna get beat up by Braun later, then have them one of them come back out, cause a distraction that causes the Viking Raiders to lose. And then we get a Raiders and OC feud. Yeah, because that's what they want to do anyway. Yeah, I think that's what we led to anyways, but yeah. which I'll, gee, I'm down with that. I'm okay with that too. But God, they picked the dumbest way to push it. I disagree. But anyways, okay. Um, Isn't it kind of weird that the OC and uh, AJ's match both ended in disqualification? Yeah, shocker. How that works when you don't want to make heels lose. Mm-hmm. Although the the whole paying homage to Eddie and Sorg, you brought that up earlier, and I was I I, I loved it. That Wait, was paying up. Paying homage to Eddie? Oh, they, they did the the steel chair fake out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's the, it's the Eddie Guerrero in my mind. It, yeah, it is know. the Eddie Guerrero spot. Yeah. yeah. And I've he seen did it. it so many times, and he did it so well mm-hmm. that it's mm-hmm. just it became his. 
Yeah, but it was it was it was the, it was cool to see like an AJ Braun uh, doing that situation too. So yeah. Um, but no, I, I I think it's been it's been good, not as good as the, the last few shows, but um, I think again a lot going on. I thought the the gauntlet. I hate gauntlets usually, but you know the way they did it, I thought was kind of an inventive way to to get the show going and get a lot of tag teams out there. And uh, and out of nowhere, like I I you know still with with Raw, we're getting just stuff kind of happens out of left field. Like hey, now we have Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. I wonder spot. where the Usos are. Where are the Usos? Probably mm-hmm. in court. Yeah. I was gonna say, didn't another one just get a DUI? Yeah, well, recently. The so same one. Oh, by the so. way, I um I retweeted a post on Twitter earlier today. There was a very long thread um about Liv Morgan being the one who hit Roman Reigns. <gasps> mm. Okay. And honestly, honestly, it was fucking amazing. What go was... go go to at Mad Mike four eight eight three. Look at tweets and replies. Just look at the thing I retweeted. It's like a 10 tweet long thread. It's amazing. And God, I wish it was real. Last, it's okay. definitely not. But God, I wish it was real. Last real question. So this is, this is still going on. And I don't buy that that fake Rowan is, is the driver. Um, wh- wait, what? Are you saying a heel is the lying sword? So what? Uh, so what, who do you think? Who do you think? Who do we feeling uh, really did uh, uh, try to take out Roman Reigns badly? Rowan. We're, we're just going with Rowan. <laughs> Rowan and Brian, yeah. It's such an awkward feud, though. It was them the whole time. It's, it's a terrible feud. Okay. It is. It is literally the worst thing going in wrestling right now. I just saw your middle, medieval times tweet. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the look he makes with that is. Uh huh. It's I, like. <laughs> it's like. You know he's ready to turn heel on the black and yellow night. Yeah. He's ready to turn heel on that motherfucker as soon as that guy wins the joust. Oh, tweets and replies. Is it weird that I want to see Daniel Bryan make a hemp version of every single championship? No. Nope. <laughs> like that justified. Yes. I saw I saw a, a, a post on Instagram the other day. It was Daniel Bryan holding up the hemp championship and it was like this is a hundred percent hemp, and then you got Snoop Dogg right below, and he's like, "I'm down with that dog," and I was just like, "That made my day so much better just seeing it." But I want to see like a hemp U.S. title. I want to see a hemp IC title. Tag teams, you can go either way. You know what I mean? It's well, yeah. For for the tag team, one would have to be Sativa, and one would have to be Indica. That's just how. It works. <laughs> I love it. All right. At that point, <laughs> guys, we have a programming note for you. There will not be Wrestling Mayhem show on Tuesday this week. No! But in an effort to try to make it up for you, we will be having the Wrestling Mayhem show at the 9 p.m. Eastern Time Standard uh, on Wednesday evening. So the you... mid week. War! No, 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 no. We're uh, yeah, we're warming up the Wednesday nights oh. for the rest of the wrestling. Damn shows. it, sorry, I wasted my only good one. Oh, so that was a good one, actually. Thank you. Uh, so much it broke the internet like it usually does. Um, <laughs> but we will be having in here, uh, speaking of international superstars, CMLL star Sam Adonis will be joining us here in studio. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I don't know if that was a legit thing or no, not. No, that, no, he's, he's good. Yeah. He's a good guy. <laughs> uh, but uh, he's, we'll be, we'll be uh, uh, catching up with him. Uh, we haven't talked to him for since I think the first WrestleRex, actually, uh, earlier this year uh, on the Indie Mayhem show. And he's never been on this show. Uh, so he'll be here. That should be interesting. We might have some uh, <laughs> a, a, a fresh face. I think Ronnie Sarkis is going to be around. Uh, who knows who's going to stop by? Cameraman Rob threatened to come by, too. Uh, so uh, I like how you say threatened. Yeah, he kind of threatened. He's just like, I'm off that night, dot, dot, dot. I'm like, well, that seems... Don't make ominous. Me show up there. Ominous, yes. That exactly. seems ominous. So we hope you guys are joining us too again on uh, Facebook and. I have a fun story. What's that? Ever. So ever... if Ronnie gets if if Ronnie gets out of line, can any one of the patrons call in and have sick ask at least request Sam to chop Ronnie? Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm not that ginger. <laughs> or maybe not chop him, maybe super kick him, something, you know. That'd be good. That'd be good. And Sam is a big dude. I don't know if you've seen pictures of him lately. <laughs> I'm sure you can de- deliver. A- I think she's okay with it regardless. Yeah, yeah, either way. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, Ronnie's got to pay his dues. Yeah, Ronnie. <laughs> he's still probationary. <laughs> Somehow. Despite he, being 10 years in the wrestling business, he's now a noob again and a rookie and has to go through story. all the rookie things. He, he hasn't met his 90 he's not, days. He hasn't he's been not his 10 days. years in the podcast business, all right? No, 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 no. That's, so we did our time. We did do our time. 12 years of it in Azkaban. It was a violent time 10 years ago in podcasting, trust me. Serious Black, Sorg. <laughs> we are the Serious Black of podcasting. Yes. We did our podcasting. Oh, 12 God. years of it. Is that your Lego update for the week? Uh, No, my Lego update for the week is, hold on. I haven't <laughs> built it yet. I haven't God. built it oh, yet. Oh, Mike, um, Mike, I, I should have taken a picture and tweeted you. I got Harry versus Voldemort. I completely passed oh. a um a, a a car in a parking lot that was a it was basically a Lego camp. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only the only information I have for you. Oh wait, like you walked by this car, you saw it, and you didn't take a picture. We were driving driving by, and I was uh, just okay. contemplating this thing. Uh, and and yeah, it was, it was completely just a Lego camp day camp, like kids day camp kind of. The, the like traveling day camp, I guess. Sorg, I probably would not be allowed at those things. No, you probably would. Oh, they be. have those. They have those all around. Like they had them at my son's school. They're like STEM things, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, STEM. you can you can do a lot of robotics, and plus they actually have this new this cool new Lego Star Wars thing, where you build three droids and you can control them with your phone. Nice, Sorg. You can build you can build a gonk droid. A gonk droid. A gonk droid. What is a gonk droid? It's the little one that looks like a trash can. Oh, those yeah. guys! Oh, yeah, you, you can build a little gonk, and it actually says gonk. Fantastic, Tina! Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. And help us answer the very important questions, including that pre-show question mm-hmm. <laughs> that we won't share on the air. <laughs> oh uh, no! Uh, where can people find you online? Um, I will not plug my stuff, but you can find me any place. Tina Keys. On wrestling mayhem show you guys see me enough you're on facebook <laughs> <laughs> and junior is a social media manager there you go there you go just outsource as to him well, things just got real <laughs> and as well check out without without a cause wrestling ran mm-hmm. by max um wrestling with subtitles i believe that's friend, who it is friend of the Defy show max defy wrestling out here in seattle as well as three two one battle mm-hmm Awesome stuff, uh, uh, Tina. I also I saw um, where'd you go, Bernadette, uh, uh, in the, at the theater the other day, and it makes me it reminds me I need to get to Seattle. So, uh, I, I, mayhem road freaking trip. I'm telling mayhem you, trip. I'm telling Seriously. you. Seriously, I love I, I love the little bit of the Northwest I got last year, and damn it, I need to get back out there. So, no, uh, it should be not just you, Sork. I love you, Sork, but it has to be the entire crew. <laughs> Mike, let's make it happen. Um, I I have a little thing I'm saving up for, but we shall see. Ah, uh, no big deal. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you I know. expect. Oh, and speaking of that little thing, I expect my invitation. Just to let oh, jeez. <laughs> oh boy. Do you oh, guys need a ring bearer? You know, you know what? A ring bearer? Yeah. No, we're not having any bears. Oh, you need somebody. To... <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 a how I met your mother joke for y'all. We're we're not friends anymore. Nick, hey, Nick. I, I have a great <laughs> joke. Nick, Nick can, okay. Nick can MC your show. wedding. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, <laughs> Making I, his way to the altar. That's not a decision I, I make. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Hey, there was that one where Chuck, where ring announcer Chuck Roberts announced everybody with their uh, gimmick names <laughs> to, for the reception. <laughs> oh, God. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I would get murdered before I made it down if I was to be fair, Mad Mike. To be fair, I would not be able to pronounce their real names, so that's <laughs> like let's go gimmick names. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just like I'm looking through the program of the best men. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Oh, oh, that's the former heavyweight champion. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, Nick Nick Farah, he uh, hey. does uh, uh, ring announcing at uh, Angel Gate, which you can see uh, just uh, posted on IndieWrestling.us, and yes, I believe sir. it's PWXAngelGate.com. Uh, yeah, and get, get the right plug. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like what is that? Uh, Twelve ninety nine. Uh, four dollars. It's thirty day free trial. Seventeen eighty four a month. Seventeen eighty four a month. I yeah. get twenty five cents. Mike was or uh, Nick was uh, just just rolling our just just making up 
new deals for our network. I'll tell you what, okay. though. I mean, that's that's profit right there. No, like, the best part was he goes, he goes, any wrestling network, this event is live streaming on it. It wasn't. It was, uh, <laughs> you can get that for just seven ninety nine. And then apparently, I'm told from the ring, ringside <laughs> camera ops, somebody in the crowd yelled, that's too much. And then somebody else yelled, it's not enough. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should just start announcing the price in different monetary units canadian chinese canadian Japanese. dollars 15 million yen That'd be a great gag though I, I must... five shekels three goats and well, a acre of land well that's like um uh mt osha 1462 ounces a piece mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and i'm just like i love it it's ounces or uh the megabits with the with the, with the best bros with oh Bermuda. you know what you should announce how much it is in bitcoin there you go. Yeah, but you need to check that like like five minutes before you go out there every time. Yeah. <laughs> so no, so you know what? Keep announcing it every two say, minutes when the price changes. How many Bitcoin is five dollars and ninety nine cents? Let's see if Siri knows. Oh, there you go. Wow, nice. for less than point zero one Bitcoin, you can go. That's and a steal. That's a, there you go. We'll, we'll work you know, that in. You, right. If you ask for one Bitcoin, that's a profit right there. If you drop one, I want you to drop that black diamond, which is just in, like, you know, the heart of uh, West Virginia, and they'll just be confused. What the fuck's a Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> I have a bit of coin right here. Mad exactly Mike 483 on the Twitters. YouTube.com slash Poppy. Your future 24 7 champion, Poppy. Oh God, I would, I would murder. Hey, someone for hey, that you sword. know how you piss off the internet, Mad Mike? Did you see my tweet about Poppy the other day? No, Sorg. What did you say about Poppy? I said that Poppy is this generation's Marilyn Manson, and watch oh, and Sorg. watch the internet burn down. Sorg, why did you do that? If anything, she's this generation's Shirley Manson. Ooh, oh. See? No, no, no. Yeah. No, yeah. Shirley Manson was not nearly as theatrical. Plus, she was a Terminator. And she was only happy when it rained. Mm-hmm. Guys, thank you so much for joining us again Wednesday, 9 p.m. And Sam Adonis will be joining us here on the show. We will see you there. Uh, have have a fun Tuesday off. Maybe I'll throw something on the stream. We'll see. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attend. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Yeah, I'll keep Find out more at Sorgatron Media. I don't know how late I'm staying. Not a problem. Not okay. a problem. Alrighty.